Good morning everybody, this is Catherine Aird with Keep It Simple Social Media and today we're going to talk about websites. So whenever we teach a class, whether it's at the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver or to private clients, we always put a lot of emphasis on the website. First of all, you really need one these days because this is how people will find you. They're not going to go in the yellow pages anymore, they're going to go um, on Google and they're going to Google you and what's going to come up either your website or social media. So this is where all the information about who you are, what you do, the products and services you offer and your listings if you're in real estate, this is where everything's going to be. So rule number one, make sure you have a good website. Rule number two, I wrote all this, these points down but so you want to make sure that your website is mobile friendly because over 80% of the people will look at it on their phone. So two things, how do you make sure it's mobile friendly? Google yourself, take your phone, Google yourself, find your website online and look at what people will see. This is who you're gonna be. So you wanna make sure that if you have a phone number or email address that people are able to touch your phone number and call you directly or touch your email address and email you directly. And if you're not sure how to do that, just ask your programmer or um, whoever's handling your website to set that up for you. People don't have the time or we just don't write down phone numbers anymore. We wanna be able to talk right away. So make sure that is well set up. Other thing to remember, photography and video. Make sure you have the best photography you can have and really good videos. You can ask a photographer that's starting or if they wanna have photo credits or things like that, if they can work a deal with you or have a budget for photography and those images um, you can buy or have custom, but you will use them over and over again. So um, you can go on Shutterstock and places like that and look for really stunning images or really ask a photographer or someone who has a drone, like go practice out there and really spend the time and for quality images, please, especially in real estate. It's so important. Um, another point I was gonna say, you wanna collect email, um, emails from people. And the reason for that is that if you want looking in the future, you wanna be able to contact people that have come to your website and are interested or if, um, they've purchased from you in the past, you want to be able to reach out to them again. So two things with that. Um, to do it, you can either have a pop-up that says sign up for my newsletter and then have people write their emails there or you can um, have a home evaluation page, say, if you're in real estate. So always try to have people sign up for your newsletter. What are you gonna talk about in your newsletter? Well, that is up to you. You can do market updates, you can have something about your industry, you can have people link from your newsletter to your blog and, um, and things like that. Blogs are really easy to set up once you have a website, so you can think about maybe something you're gonna talk about every month or um, every three months even and use repurpose the content of your blog. So make sure you collect email list. The end goal with social media is to drive people to your website and then once their website is to make sure that they contact you, that you get a lead out of it. So you need to be able to collect addresses. And then I think I have, an, let me check out my sheet. So blog, spectacular images, home evaluation, mobile friendly. And then, um, oh yeah, finally, if you're in real estate and you want to have a brand new website, you can contact our friends at Realty Ninja. They do a really good job. And if you use the discount code NEVE, uh, N-E-V-E, -E, all in capital, N-E-V-E, -E, you'll get 20% off your website. And uh, our friends there will be happy to assist you. So that's it. Live video is always scary. I hope <laughs> you're not as stressed as I am watching it. But um, have a beautiful day and remember, keep it simple.